dirt loose, but I can't get it away without burying the next thing over. Yeah. And that's really kind of frustrating. Concrete evidence from this unwritten history of Cape Cod is brought forth from the shifting sands and glacial silt of the peninsula's ever-changing landscape. Archaeologists try to piece together the history of the first Cape Codders by the ancient remains of their campfires, kitchens, and garbage heaps. Here, near the shores of Pleasant Bay, in what is now the town of Orleans, bulldozers digging a modern-day septic pit unearthed a 3,000-year-old refuse heap in the summer of 1991. Fred Dunford, staff archaeologist at the Cape Cod Museum of Natural History, was called in to conduct the excavation. The site is a shell midden, and midden is a Danish word that means kitchen area. And this is about 3,000 years of accumulated refuse, food remains, animal bones, shellfish, broken stone tools, um, ceramic uh, sherds from pottery vessels, um, things of that nature. It's a place where um, activities are carried out, cooking, cleaning, butchering, all kinds of things like that. So there are people working on and around the midden and probably camping just off the midden. We think the site was first occupied around 3,000 years ago, and the most recent date we have at the site is at about 1200 AD. So somewhere after 1200 AD, the site was abandoned. Uh, nice. 